So this is part two of the uh, rotoscoping series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the roto brush tool located up here and um, it's kind of it's good for like quick and dirty uh, extractions it doesn't always give the best results but it does have some advantages and I've got this piece of footage here with the baseball player and um, obviously uh, this is an ideal piece of footage because there's no background objects it's pretty clean and uh, he's already pretty isolated but I guess it's a good place to start. So the way it works is, you select the Roto Brush tool up here, and then you double click the footage, much like the normal brush tool. You need to go into like brush mode, like this, and you'll see the uh, cursor become a green circle with a plus in the middle. And uh, what you do is, we'll start on frame one, and uh, you can adjust the brush size by holding down control and then clicking the mouse and pushing upwards, left click sorry, so hold down control, left click and push it up or uh, down to reduce the brush size, so I'm just going to go for about this size and then you just start kind of painting the object you want to extract, so and hold down the space bar to move uh, in your viewport, so I'm just going to kind of roughly extract him and it basically does quite a good job at finding the kind of boundaries automatically. So I'm just going to reduce my brush, get this bit here, get the arm in a bit, a bit there, try and extract that maybe. Um, oops, what did I do? What did I click? I made my brush very small. Um, these are going to be problem areas here. If you hold down Alt, that goes into the subtract operation. So hold down Alt and it becomes a minus. I just want to get rid of this bit here. So I'm going to start with that for the first frame. Then if you move to the next frame, it basically already starts calculating and you just want to go through the frames and kind of aid the uh, roto brush uh, operation and it pretty much figures out uh, most of it for itself but it does need kind of guidance in certain areas like here so I'm just gonna carry on it's looking all right up to here yep Yes. And then we've got this problem area here beginning to uh, open up. So I'll probably start here and just subtract here. Put the arm back in. Now, and as you can see, it's kind of calculated the rest. So you want to go pretty much to the first frame where the problem occurs, and then it can easy it can guess the rest a lot easier. Um, I'm just going to tidy this up, just add the face in a bit there, so let's carry on and see what happens, he's doing a good job with the hand, tracking the hand, he's catching the ball, and if you look here you've basically got your uh, roto, roto brush span, and uh, if you want to extend that you can just uh, hover over it till you get the left and right arrow icon and then just pull it all the way to the duration of the uh, kind of composition. So you can uh, kind of adjust the segment here. So I'm just now it's carrying on. Just going to get rid of this bit here. As you can see, because I didn't go to the first frame where the problem occurs becomes a lot more trickier, so I'm just going to go here. Now you can guess the rest a lot easier. Okay, looks alright here. Again, we've got a problem here, so uh, I'm going to come to about here. 
track that as well. There we go. Slight problem here. And obviously, like the more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it here. And once you're done, you want to hit the freeze button here. What that basically does is it, it kind of buffers um, all your work. So now if we go back to the composition, we've kind of uh, extracted the mat. And here his kind of cap goes missing. So I'm actually going to just correct that. So if you come back here and uncheck freeze, you can make some adjustments to the cap. And now the cap segment's back in. So I'm just going to check. Okay, we're just going to freeze that again. The cap looks a lot better. There's some bits missing here, but if I carry uh, carry on too long with this, the tutorial is just going to drag on. So let's say you've got your mat kind of how you want it here. Now what we've got is here in the roto brush uh, panel, we've got further options to kind of refine this mat. So you can increase the smoothness and that basically uh, as you can see, it kind of smooths um, all the outlines down. But if you've got a sharp edge and you want to keep it, it's not a great advantage. So I'm just going to add a bit of smoothness. Uh, feather, as you can guess, kind of increases the feathering. And choke, you know, just tightens it up. It, it can be good for uh, reducing chatter, you know, chatter, which is like moving noise on the outlines. And if you just check refine mat here, it actually adds some motion blur in which is really great. Uh, should be, let me just see. So if you go back to your uh, roto brush layer, you've got options down here. So we can see the mat, we can see the original footage, or we can see the kind of extracted footage with a kind of slightly red background. And this is how it's looking right now. And as you can see, uh, the motion blur has been added to the hand, which is really good. So I'm just going to come back to my composition. And uh, reduced chatter is basically the uh, kind of noise along the outlines, which can look kind of strange sometimes. So it's a good idea to increase that to 100. So I'm just going to preview this uh, segment. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it looks. You can see it's kind of nice and tight here. And uh, I guess you could combine uh, several of these to kind of create a super mask, you know, just create lots of uh, different compositions and then join them together. So there's potential for doing a professional work with this, but uh, generally it's good for kind of quick and dirty stuff. And we can basically just add in the background or a uh, I just click here, I can create a new solid for the background and I can add a four color gradient for example. And yeah, another thing to note is uh, when you're doing using the Roto brush tool, make sure the composition uh, quality is set to full because you want to really see like every pixel and you want to see an ac accurate uh, representation of the footage basically. So just make sure that's uh, at full. So yeah, there you go, that's the final result, done in no time at all.